Hey, Michael with X-Force PC. Some of you asked me how I did the frame rate test. And so what I'd encourage you to do is go and take a look at um, X-Plane's frame rate test page. So I'm just going to Google X-Plane 11 frame rate test. And the first result I get is benchmarking using the frame rate test, X-Plane. And that takes me to the Explain website, and you can see it's forward slash KB forward slash frame dash rate dash test. And this gives you tons of technical information, tells you how you can customize the frame rate test to do all kinds of different things. And um, anyway, it's there to take a look at. But what I do is I used a, use a pre-canned uh, test. I'm going to get rid of this. Um, test number five. And we'll look at the parameters that are associated with that in a minute. But what you do is you just need to go, uh, first of all, and turn on file extensions. So you see how I can see this says log.txt? Well, if I don't have file extensions turned on, it would just say the word log there. So you go to View and Options in your Explorer and go over to the View tab and make sure you uncheck this box that says Hide File Extensions for Known File Types. Notice if I check this box, I no longer see log.txt here. I just see the word log. We want to see the stuff after the dot, the dot text, the dot bat, the dot exe, etc. So uncheck this box that says hide file extensions for known file types and apply it. That's your first step. Next thing you want to do is create a, uh, actually browse to your Xplane folder. And so mine is on my C drive in a folder called Xplane 11. So I'm in my Xplane folder and I'm going to right click in that folder just in a blank spot and create a new text document. And I'm going to name it test5.bat bat bat hit enter it's going to complain that i'm changing the file extension to .bat from .txt yes i do want to do that now if you double click this it'll try to actually run it and there's nothing in there it's an empty file so you want to edit right click on it and choose edit and what you want to paste into your file is what i have here the statement now I'll put this in the notes of the YouTube video so you can just copy and paste it. But you paste this into your um, .bat file and then you just save it. So now inside of test5.bat, which is inside my explain folder, if I look at that, I've got this statement, which means it's going to run test number 5 and it's going to do this flight right here. It's a predetermined flight path. And then it's going to measure the frame rate while running that flight path. So I'm going to double click on test5.bat. And if you're running multiple tests, you know, you can just kind of walk away. This thing will start X-Plane up. It'll run the flight. At the end of the flight, it'll exit X-Plane. And then in your log.txt file, it will tell you the frame rate. So you could walk away and you know go do something else and come back and the computer will be sitting at the desktop and then you just check your log.txt file and you'll have your result. Now you won't want to mess with this while it's running because you'll affect the frame rate um, the result if you're doing other things on the computer or if you got things running in the background or if you start clicking on all the menus in here but I'm actually gonna break my own rule because I want to show you the graphics settings. You can see here um, visual effects are all the way up. Texture quality is set to high. We've got a little bit of anti-aliasing. The big thing is we have objects set to maximum. That's why I like to run test number five because it has our objects at maximum. So it's a good test for testing processor speed. Not the best test for video card because if you were going to do video card you'd have this up a little higher so maybe you'd run test number four for that. So what this will do is fly this predetermined flight path and it's a little jerk, herky jerky and kind of um, weird looking the flight path but at the end we will get our 
frame rate result. So we just have to stand by for that. Okay, that seemed like forever, but now we can go and check our log.txt file, which we find right here in the root of our xplane folder, and just scroll to the bottom. And here you can see that our frame rate average was 47.16. So um, there it is. Now if you want to try different hardware or memory or video cards or processors or whatever, you can go back, run the same test, and compare your results. So that's how you run the frame rate test. There are other, um, there's test 4 and 3 and so forth. Um, I think test 4 um, has a little bit of different rendering settings. I'll go ahead and run that real quick just to, so basically you can just edit your, your batch file and change that number 5 to a number 4. And let's take a look real quick and see what the graphic settings are for test number four. All right, so on this one, uh, our visual effects are no longer all the way up, they're on high. Um, and then our objects are now on high instead of all the way up. I think that's the only change. So this went from all the way up to back a notch, and this went from all the way up to back a notch. And so that's what frame uh, the test number four is. So anyway, hopefully that sort of gives you an idea how to run these uh, frame rate tests. And um, 